Hey everyone, it's Loza and my eyes are over here. Stop looking over there. All right, but seriously, welcome back to another Dark Magician Structure Deck video where we're looking at the leaks, the card leaks of the Dark Magician Structure Deck, Illusion of the Dark Magicians. Today, I mentioned in a very brief video, thank you for those who watched it just to get the information, um, the Dark Magician Girl has been confirmed in the Structure Deck, which is no real surprise. But let's move on to the most important leak in there, Magician Souls. Ladies and gents, we're getting common Magician Souls. This is huge for Dark Magician players. Whether you're new, whether you're an old Dark Magician player, you can rejoice. People can have common souls, and that's really nice because new players just need a way to get this card, and it's been... When it came out, it was like 100 bucks in Australia. I think you can get it a lot cheaper now, but it's still a little bit too much, so that's really nice. In terms of other cards, we've got the Dimension Conjurer. This card is pretty mid. It's best uses in Duel Links, where you have a skill that literally adds it to your hand. It's quite good then in Duel Links. Um, when this card's normal, you get to add Magical Dimension from Deck or Grave to hand. So, you can guess what's next. That's right, we have Magical Dimension now. It's really not a good card, it hasn't aged very well, and I'm not sure why it got support. Dimension Condra came out in 2022. That's a card from last year. Yikes. Well, if that's anything to go by, the rest of the structure deck is not amazing. So, Dark Magic Expanded. Dark Magic Expanded is pretty bad. There is a skill in Duel Links where there is a 1 in 3 chance of adding this, Thousand Knives, or Dark Magic attack to your hand. You just randomly get one of them if you have uh, 2,000 or less life points, I believe. Even then, this was normally the card you didn't want to roll. Sometimes it was, because plus 1,000 attacks nice. But all the other effects pretty much don't come up, and they're just not that good. Next up, we have Dark Magic Inheritance. Now, this card should have been good, in theory. We got it very early, and it kind of gave off the illusion that, oh, cool, we're going to get a bunch more spells that maybe search the deck, like Rotors. Instead, we got Illusion of Chaos, which is fine. But I thought we'd always get Rotor in the form of a spell and go through a bunch of spells, since we're a spellcaster deck. you think we would have a lot of spells that, you know, start our combo, and then Inheritance, you would activate to banish some of those spells, maybe get some bonus effects from banishing them, and then search an additional Dark Magician spell trap. However, that's never happened. We got a new spell after this card release called Soul Servant, which banished itself, which I thought was interesting, considering we have this. But obviously, the people who develop DM support I'm not reading previous cards really, or really looking at the interactions too deeply. This card should have been good, is what I'm trying to say. It's Rod 2.0. Rod in spell form, which sounds in theory cracked, but you do have to banish two spells to use it, which is always the problem. Like, I always thought, well, I guess you gotta play a spellbook engine, I guess you gotta play allures or like random draw cards. But all those draw cards are banned over here. I imagine in Japan you could play three chicken game and three upstart, and then this card suddenly looks a lot better, right? Uh, but over here in TCG, yeah, no, you probably won't ever play this card, and if you ever play Inheritance, it's a one. Do you ever search Inheritance? No, you just kind of open it as a second copy of Rod, but you never Rod search Inheritance, because it's just wasting a search, because you're just gonna do it again. So yeah, bit of a miss of a card, we really need this effect on a Link 1, maybe without the Banish 2 spells. Just let us search on something else, Konami. <sighs> yeah, we got but, um, we got Magic Cylinder in there, guys. Yep, so any of y'all who love the anime, this looks like it's going to be an anime structure deck, rather than a uh, competitive structure deck, or as Konami said, it's going to be able to combat the meta. I don't think you're going to do it with Magic Cylinder, but be my guest if you'd like to try. You would win the Grand Maju matchup, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now we went over most of the rarities of those cards, but we're just going to go over them very quickly. DM, Ultra Rare, DMG, Super Rare, everything else so far is common. So, Illusion, Robe, Rod, Souls, Conjurer, Ma Magical Dimension, Circle, Illusion, Magic, Expanded, Inheritance, Soul Servant, Cylinder, all commons. Um, so, nothing to get a nice rarity upgrade. I know a lot of people wanted Rod to get a nice secret rare or something. Sorry, still not happening. I know, it sucks. Rod needs a nice rarity bump. And Secrets of Dark Magic, which will be in here for sure, needs a secret rare. Though I, I don't think it's going to get it, but it would make sense because it's called Secrets. But anyway, the point is, email Konami and tell them we want shiny cards. If anyone's got any secret rare soul servants, I'll pick them up here and send them this way. Anyway, that's it for the update. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm still waiting for the full set list so we can get excited or cry, which is probably going to be the latter. But that's okay at this point. Let me know what you think of the reveal so far. I think Magician Souls is massive, so that's very cool. Hopefully we also get Illusion of Chaos, and you know what? If we get that in all the fusions, I'd be pretty damn happy, to be honest. But we'll see what happens. Obviously, we all want new cards, but I just don't see it happening. Anyway, farewell, my gamers.